while we're watching a lot of the athletes sign their letter of commitment for 2024, there's a lot of athletes out there that hit that transfer portal that's looking to find themselves a program that they can get into and become an instant impact on either the offensive or de defensive side of the ball. And we already know the Braves love to have young men that can come into their program to shake some things up, to really get defensive coordinators off balance as far as trying to figure out exactly what they're looking to run on offense. One thing for certain is this. I believe that this young man is coming into the SWAC. is going to be more than able to help the Braves move things in the right direction, especially on the offensive side of the ball, to get things going to possibly get back to winning the SWAC once again. And we're going to talk about this young man right after this. It's your favorite coach back at it again. Ten toes down, about to tell you how it all went down. This is Tomorrow League Sports Network with your host, Coach Walker. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can get all upcoming videos. For all my leaders out there, welcome back. Y'all know the drill. Y'all know the routine. If you haven't done so already, please like, comment, and share these videos. And tap in the friend of the tour and tell them to come on in. There's no positive vibes. We're just having a good time talking about HBCU sports. And don't forget, you can follow us on all social media platforms. The links are listed down below in the description. So without further ado, we're going to go ahead and get on in this thing. Because I'm like, Coach, what's going on with you? You gave us two hot ones. Where you been? Guys, let me tell you something right now. Coach been on the road trying to get some things take care of. I'm going to tell you right now. Family is everything. And many of you that have reached out to me, y'all know what I got going on right now. And I appreciate all the prayers and everything that's happening. Continue to keep praying for me and my family. I thank you guys for that. Um, but like I said, guys, we're just going to go ahead and keep on moving this thing forward because I got to keep my mind rolling as far as what everything is happening right now. I got to keep, I got to dial in and focus in on what's going on because, like I said, that is what would be asked of me to do right now. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. But like I said before, I thank all of you. And not only that, we have not forgotten about the scholarship we're going to have tomorrow. Little Sports Network, second annual scholarship that's going to come up. I'm going to go ahead and give the details. I apologize. Like I said, there's been a lot that's been going on with Coach as of late, and I hadn't been able to get all of that stuff out there for everybody. So it is coming. So please don't make, please make sure you follow up, continue to keep looking for that information. It is coming. But guys, I'm, I'm going to say this to you. When I was looking at this young man that's looking to make a move to possibly, well, he made the move. He's coming over to Alcorn State University. And it led me to believe, you know, we all play sports and we all have those dreams as far as we're being able to get out there and showcase our talents. Those that did play on the collegiate level, they want to get out there and showcase that they're able to do what needs to be done as far as we're playing on that level and just let everybody know that thing, you know, they, they have that it factor to get out there and really make some things happen. And the funny thing is, this young man that's coming into the Braves program will be playing along another athlete that came from another big-name school. Y'all do understand that the running back core for Alcorn State University is going to have a young man that came from Syracuse University and one that played for Michigan State University. While at Michigan State, this young man was a two-way player that can change up the pace of things immediately, especially when you look at, you got Nico Duffy, you got Jarvion Howard, and then you got this young man on the field at the same dag on time. Listen, this young man played 12 games and was third on the team rushing while playing for the Michigan State Spartans. Now, this young man transferred from Michigan State, in which he had, he carried the ball 38 times for 118 yards, one touch. He also had six receptions for 77 yards. Now, he spent some time on special teams as well while he was playing, at, uh, playing for the Spartans, in which he had five returns for 93 this yards. This young man played high school football at Bolingbrook High School in Illinois, in which he was ranked number two in the state of Illinois. Anthony Williams Jr., last season while at Akron University, caught four passes for 36 yards. Now, this young man, he wasn't used much in that offense as many would have expected him to be, especially with the success that he had while over at Michigan State. Now, this young man will definitely come into the Braves football program, hopefully with um, Coach McNair and the offense coordinator over at, over at Alcorn State University. We'll definitely find a way to get this young man out there on the field, especially with Mr. Howard and Nico Duffy being able to stretch that field in a way to where you have defenses that are not going to be able to key in on how or in those short down and distance um, situations where they're looking to move the ball and get a first down to keep the chains moving and keep that clock rolling so that they can go ahead and continue to hold on to that ball and continue to keep moving it down the field. One thing you got to understand is this. I honestly feel that Coach McNair and the coaching staff, they've looked over some things to see exactly the type of pieces that they need within that offense to continue to keep moving things in the manner which they need to so that they can not only, A, put more points on the board, B, 
continue to keep defenses guessing as far as what they're looking to do out there on the field and see not only that, but it doesn't allow the defense, you know, defense is now, you know, they got to come out there and really prepare for what the Braves may put out there on the field, especially when it comes down to the skill set that's going to be on that offensive side of the ball this upcoming season. Coach McNair and their offensive coaching staff, I really do believe they're going to find a way to keep defenses guessing all game long. Like I said, this is definitely a ramp up for the Braves as far as with them add additional uh, assets out there on the field as far as playmakers that they will need to continue to keep moving that ball down the field. Once again, I do believe Coach McNair and his offensive coaching staff is going to find a way to put more points up on the board this upcoming season for the Braves. Like I said, to put more pressure on defenses and not just allow people to pin their ears back and just get after them when they're out there on the offensive side. This is definitely a great pickup for the Braves football team and definitely can see Coach McNair and the Braves team make some noise this upcoming season. Congratulations to Anthony Williams on bringing your talents to Alcorn State University and definitely look forward to seeing you do some phenomenal things out there with your Braves football team. But guys, Coach is going to go ahead and get up on out this day. But until next time, be the one and lead.